All right, Libra, welcome to your January 2023 divinatory readings. These cards were drawn through pendulum divination. You see the pendulum laying to the right over there. And what do we got for you, Libra? Nine cards of the Thoth Crowley deck. The Thoth Crowley tarot deck is one of the better ones. Now, we start out up here in this. Whoop. This one right here. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Intuition in flow with the universe. Got, this is a universal egg shape. There is a flow motion. Frequency vibration of flow motion. Reflected in the above and below. Flow motion above and below. Split right here. Got a split above and below. Inflow intuition. You have an ace, Libra. You have an ace. Straight out of the gate on the second card, you have an ace of wands. This is a force of flame. Not only what the symbology represents on the card, but it's also the message with this card for you, Libra. Force of flame, open doors. And uh, Spirit is saying that force of flame, open doors can be used as a chant, Libra, if you would like to write that down. Force of flame, open doors. And just say it as many times as you feel comfortable saying it. Have fun with it. You know, for like a week, just... Force of flame, open doors. Force of flame, open doors. Force of flame, open doors. So on. In that manner. So, that is the second card. Now here we have uh, an ace of this. So right side by side, Libra. Straight up. you got two aces side by side. Very strong. Very strong. Another universal shape. This is more of a... This is more of a... Uh, angelic kind of formulation of energy. This symbology right here is like cherubim style um, energy covering protecting energy. Um, two aces side by side. What about that? What about that? So this speaks to a brand new career. Brand new career. Brand new opportunity for the new year. And uh, so ignore Complaints and fears in the outside world because the universe has for you a new career opportunity. Now, second row, we start out with a Prince of Swords. The Prince of Swords, he has uh, geometries of energy in the symbology here. It's a capacity for abstract thinking. So, capacity for abstract thinking. I'm, so, it's possible that the new career will involve a capacity for abstract thinking, or they will be simpatico whenever the new opportunity appears. Um, aptitude for abstract thinking will be you know, something that may just. Uh, catch your fancy for a while and they are just those two two things can be true at the same time so princess of wands Libra princess of wands you got a prince you got two aces side by side you got a prince and a princess very interesting uh, Libras have a, when they have an interest when a Libra has an interesting drawing it's very interesting it's just a fact princess of wands a very popular card inner energy breaking through perceptual barriers and limitations inner energy breaking through perceptual barriers and limitations i like that breaking through perceptual barriers and of course the capacity for abstract thinking with the prince and the breaking through perceptual limitations and barriers with the princesses they are simpatico and what follows this but the number one card in the fucking deck excuse my french not made for kids uh, look here, numero uno, the number one major, 
the magician magus. And this one has this has to do with skills of the esoteric inner energy. So what what amazing cards look at her ace ace prince princess magician. That's uh that's the uh, best drawing I've seen for 2023 so far, I'll just tell you. Yeah, we got some, we got some standard kind of pips down here on the bottom. We got a seven of cups, seven of cups. Not a popular card, but uh, each card has its purpose. Dissipation. Dissipation of acquaintances and dissipation. Of old friends, perhaps, uh, or new friends, that basically moving on. The energy, the message is moving on. So, so acquaintances that you've had for a while, Libra, that's it's going to that chapter's going to close. You're going to move on, and you're going to. Oh, well, you may stay in contact with some. You may stay in contact with several, but there will be several that move on into the background as people move through life. The lighting changes. And people move from foreground to background. This is how things go. There's nothing wrong about it. This is just how things progress. What we have here. Truce card is the pip is called. Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Relaxation from anxiety. This new opportunity. It's going to be a secure one, Libra. This new career, new financial opportunity, this new opportunity, you moving on from from acquaintances and friends, you're open to breaking through perceptual barriers, limitations and barriers, capacity for abstract thinking. Remember the chant with this ace, Libra. Remember this chant. Force of flame, open doors. Force of flame, open doors. It's very simple, very simple old mantra. Oh, get a little frequency, attunement. Just chant that over and over. Enjoy it. Don't force yourself, but enjoy it. Nine of discs is your final card. Nine of discs, labor. This is uh, a, this is the fortune guarantee on the stability that I spoke with with the uh, moving on and new career so you're talking about your ace of discs and your uh moving on with the seven of cups and relaxation from anxiety so four of swords is actually this is a very positive dignified kind of energy this right here is increase of wealth the uh, message came through with the word great so i mean great is a contextual word if you know if you're going from middle class to upper class if you're going from lower class to middle class, these are all both great movements, whichever where where it happens to be, whichever it happens to be. So this is like a reaffirmation of the new career, which is the eighth of discs up here. So that's a very very good reading, Libra. Wow, such cards. That's the kind of fortune that when you go and get your tarot cards read by a witch or something, that's the kind of thing you want to see. You know, sometimes they get off on a little tangents and abstract. You know, anybody, everybody reads them there. Everybody reads the card. They read them, you know. And I uh, hope you got something out of that, Libra. And so, Happy New Year 2023. It's a great reading to go into the new year with. So, all right, Libra. Namaste.